Hello fellow golfers, today we're going to talk about the old but super cheap tailor-made iron set. Ted, I know you love crappy old stuff no one cares about, but I'm going to give you four words to live by. New is always better. So new is always better. To find out, I played nine holes with the old tailor-made Rack OS irons and the newish tailor-made M4 irons. If you want to find out more about each set of irons, I created two PDFs with a lot of information on them and the link is in the description below. All right, let's get into the action. I will give you more information as we go on about each set of iron, but to make this test super scientific, I created something that I call Iron Battle. It's basically a scramble match play format where I hit shots with both irons and then the one that ends up in a better position gets the point and the next shot then is played from this better position. Opening hole is a short par 4 and I pushed both shots. However, the M4 was slightly longer so point goes to the M4 and it's one up. First off is the M4 out of the rough. I hit this one pretty well, so should be pretty good. Let's see how the rack can respond. Also nice hit. Should also be pretty good. Let's see. All right, both balls ended up near the green. However, the M4 was slightly better, so M4 goes two up in this match. Both sets of irons are aimed at high to maybe medium handicap players. The Rec OS came out in 2002 and the first version of the M4s came out in 2018. So quite an age difference between the two. Second hole is a par 3 over water and I'm hitting 8 iron here for about 160 yards. The M4s are rockets, they go very far. Solid shot, slightly to the right but should be good. I'm also hitting 8 iron with the Rec OS. Which is a bit of a stretch because they're more traditionally lofted, so a bit shorter. And yeah, I pull it to the left into the bunker. So the point goes to the M4, which is now three up. All right, Barney, new does seem better so far. In terms of cost, the Rec OS now costs less than 150 euros or 150 dollars for a full set. And the M4s you can pick up anywhere between three and four hundred euros or dollars at least the older versions there is also a newer version available which is a bit more pricey the next hole is a short par four so i will only count the t shots for the iron battle i chose to hit a six iron here oops nap hook with the m4s all right this is an opening to snatch a point for the oldies for the racks let's see nice little drawer down the fairway, one point for the old Rec OS. Three to one now. Eight iron again on this short par three. Rec OS going first. Green in regulation for the oldies. Let's see if the M4s can get even closer. No comment on this shot. Definitely not the equipment's fault. Both set of irons are game improvement irons. The M4s are designed for maximum distance while also having a really high ball flight. And in my test I can completely confirm both claims. Those irons are rockets. They go a mile. Also the ball flight is pretty high. So if you're a beginner or intermediate golfer who is looking for maximum distance in your irons, get a used set of tailor-made M4s. It's really good. On this tee shot I hit the Rec OS 4 iron, 198 yards carry with a very solid hit. The M4 I didn't hit so well but it still went 205 yards carry and it rolled even more. Which actually can be a negative if you're attacking the greens. But then again I guess it's a trade off that you have to make. Either maximum distance or more spin control. However. For a beginner, I definitely recommend more distance. On the second shot, I pushed the M4 a little bit, but 
but it was still closer than the Rex. So even though I'm tempted to split the points, point goes to the M4. I really enjoy the Rack OS irons. They're meant to be very forgiving and have a great feel. And again, I can agree with both points. They're very forgiving, even on some really terrible misses. They end up in a decent lie. And their feel is great, especially considering their game improvement iron. Yes, they're not as great as maybe a forged Mizuno set, but they're not supposed to. So, you know, if you're on a budget and you're looking for an iron set that you can keep till your mid or maybe even mid lowish handicap, the Rec OS are a really great choice. I have a small favor to ask you. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. It helps me a ton to continue making these videos. Also, remember the PDFs that I mentioned. Link is in the description below. Okay, I realized I talked a lot, so let's get back into the action of the iron battle. So far, new does seem better. 5 to 2 for the M4s. And on this short par 4, they win the T-shirt again. Now, to also actually test the pitching match, I decided to drop the ball here and try to hit the green from around 130 yards. And the M4 goes first. Oh, I almost shanked this one. All right, surely the rack can do better than this. Even though with this alignment, I'm not sure. Ooh la la, what a nice shot by the Rack OS. By the way, they also fly pretty high, so again, perfect for beginners. Before we go on to the last three holes of the match, let's talk a little bit about the looks of the iron sets. The TaylorMade M4s look very modern. They had chunky, inspiring confidence. To be honest, they kind of look like driving irons almost. The Rack OS, on the other hand, they're a bit more classic. They are oversized, but way slimmer than the M4s. So it depends just what you like more, to be honest, and what gives you more confidence. Let's see if the oldies can actually make a comeback. Next is a long par 3, and I actually need to hit 4 iron here to get there. These racks are like a hot knife through butter when you hit them in the center. Really amazing feel. The issue I have with the M4 sometimes is that I want to force more distance out of them. Don't get me wrong, they're hot off the face and they're super long, but somehow in my mind I always wanted to have an extra 10 yards and then I end up pulling or pushing it, just like in this shot. Since I hit a lot of four irons off the tee in this round, I decided I'll take a six iron and measure the distance actually on this par four here. The rack OS go first. Very solid strike. When the 180 yards carry, really nice. As I said, with the M4, I sometimes want to force it. And this is not great. Oh well. I really hit this shot terrible. But it still went 178 yards carry. So just imagine if you actually hit this bad boy correctly. Next shot is a half blind 6 iron again. M4 goes first. Oof. Very nice shot. Just a bit to the right of the green. That's tough to beat for the rack. Let's see. Ooh, little dance step here. Looks good, but let's see which one is closer. So the racks snatch another point. Before we go on to the last hole, I can already tell you my decision about these irons. They're both great for beginners, so you cannot do anything wrong with picking either of them. If money is no issue, then yes, go for the M4s. They're nice, they're shiny, they're new, they go a mile. However, if you're on a budget, then yeah, take the Rack OS. You're not missing much, you know. Just a little bit of distance and you can always take a club more for your shot. Plus, I actually feel like these babies here will stay with you longer as you progress to become a better player and you go away from wanting max distance in your irons towards more feel and spin control. As I say this, I put both the shots to the right. Okay, this is a close one, but the rack actually stayed in, so it takes another point. Only one point behind with one shot to go. Final shot of the round, 
185 yards, six iron. Rack goes first. Ooh, this is very close, very good. Let's see if new is always better. Come on, little M4. Nope, pulled it. So the final result is seven to seven. And we can conclude that no Barney, new is not always better. And on this bombshell, it's time for me to end the video and it's time for you to watch this video next.